Jackie Chan was born in Hong Kong into a very poor family. His father worked as a cook and his mother as a housekeeper for the French ambassador. Jackie Chan grew up to be a very energetic kid, but because of his dyslexia, a learning disorder that affects one's ability to read, spell, write, and speak. Due to this, he had trouble with learning in school. So he ended up being the worst student. And when he was only seven years old, his parents moved to Australia for work, but he didn't follow them. His parents decided to put him in a very strict boarding school in Hong Kong, where he would learn acrobatic, martial art, singing, and dancing. So for the next 10 years, he trained all day long, to the extent he trained for 19 hours a day. But he had a problem. He was always bullied by other kids in school, and he was very terrified about it. But one day, an incident happened. Some kids wanted to bully a new student, and Jackie Chan stood up for him. Since then, he learned to stand up for himself. So a few years later, he learned that his father had been a spy, so that's why they had to move to Australia. At 17, Jackie Chan started working as a stuntman and a movie extra. He even worked for Bruce Lee. But he decided that he doesn't want to be the next Bruce Lee, but he wants to become the first Jackie Chan. When he started the work of a stuntman, he was quickly becoming known for his lack of fear and dangerous stunt. He traveled to Australia with his parents when things weren't working out as planned. When he was 21, he returned to Hong Kong and determined to, su to succeed by this time. After many years of hard work, broken bones and determination, finally, he became famous and successful at the age of 42. And even though he never learned how to read or write, he made over 300 movies and can speak seven languages, including English. After 56 years in the film industry, he won an award he won an Oscar award for lifetime achievement. So, what can we learn from the motivational short story of Jackie Chan? Whenever hardship and failure came and knocked him on the ground, he came back even stronger and determined to succeed. And how did he achieve this? By overcoming his fear and breaking his own limit. Stop overthinking everything. Stop wishing and start doing. We don't know how many tomorrows we have left. You have to break free from the cage of self-doubt and be free. And remember, no matter what you do, you have to put God first. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.